The Extreme Forecast Index, or EFI, and Shift of Tails, SOT, are two exciting innovations only available from the ECMWF Ensemble system. These tools utilize a bi-weekly updated reforecast using a subset of past model runs on the current ECMWF configuration, 9 km grid spacing, to develop a model climatology, or M-climate. The EFI shows where the latest ensemble forecast distribution is extreme relative to this model climatology. At the same time, the SOT identifies ensemble members that are considered significantly extreme, the top 10% of the CDF relative to the reanalysis. One key thing to know about the EFI and SOT is how ECMWF performs the reanalysis to create the M climate database used to compare with the current ensemble forecast. The M climate analysis looks back at the last 20 years, but only looks at 11 ensemble members, not the full 50 ensemble membership. There's still plenty to compare to. 20 years times 11 ensemble members times nine reforecast runs equals 1,980 reforecast fields. This M climate dataset is then compared to the latest operational full 50 member ECMWF ensemble forecast to come up with the EFI and SOT. Comparisons are made for 24 hour periods from 0Z to 0Z daily out to 168 hours or seven days on the ESAT table, but only out to five days on the ECMWF website viewer. Accessing the output from these tools is straightforward and can be done in two ways. The first is through the ECMWF website, which displays the cumulative distribution functions for three useful meteorological fields. The second is via the Ensemble Situational Awareness table, available from INSEP for those with NOAA.gov credentials and provides map views. Links for these sites can be found in the Additional Information tab, and supplementary links are available from your SU or Regional Science Services division. To understand how to utilize these products in depth, please refer to the Western Region STID Forecast Toolkit training available at the hyperlink in the Resources tab. We will do a cursory overview of EFI and SOT next. In this image, you can quickly identify the areas of high EFI and low SOT, such as in eastern Montana, suggesting most of the CDF is forecasting an extreme event, but perhaps not record-breaking. Compare and contrast that with Kansas, having high EFI and high SOT, which would indicate that the tails of the distribution are pushing towards an extreme event. Additionally, in eastern Montana, the event will likely outperform the ensemble mean as the EFI values are approaching negative one. Conversely, with a low EFI and high SOT as shown in this image, you can't be as confident the event will be extreme due to the low EFI but it does indicate that there are quite a few of the chosen ensemble members forecasting an extreme event, possibly even a very extreme event as the values are pushing above eight in the shift of tails. There are some caveats to using EFI and SOT. First, you don't have anything like this for the GEFS or Canadian ensembles, so you can't compare the results to other ensemble systems. Second, EFI and SOT only focuses on the surface fields and will miss very recent events within the last week because ECMWF runs their reforecasts on Mondays and Thursdays. Selecting a time like a Tuesday after an event will not have that included in the M climate until the reforecast is performed on Thursday. Third, EFI and SOT does not take into account any antecedent conditions like saturated ground from recent rainfall or extended periods of drought. It only compares to what is in the model climate, something to think about if your current conditions aren't normal in a broader sense. Lastly, remember EFI and SOT are calculated on a 24-hour period, so short-fuse convective rainfall events that last six hours may not show up properly in EFI, and fields like Max and Min T could be spread over two EFI SOT periods because the unusual temperatures could end at zero Z and then run into the next 24-hour window. The last thing is a quick summary of what the different combinations of EFI and SOT represent as we look at this table. High shift of tails and high extreme forecast index means confidence is high in an extreme event. 
high shift of tails greater than one, but low to no EFI, uncertainty is high and a few members have an extreme event, but most members do not. If you have high EFI, but low to no SOT, confidence is high and most members have an anomalous event, but maybe not that extreme. The last one is low EFI and low shift of tails. This is likely a regular occurring event.